So we said that um, the use case for these temporary security credentials would be identity federation, but let's talk about what that actually is. So identity federation is the means of linking a person's electronic identity and attributes stored across multiple distinct identity management systems. So that definition is a little bit confusing. So my uh, take on it is that identity federation allows users to exist on a different platform. So an example of this would be your users are on Facebook, but you, they can gain access as if they are a user in AWS. So the idea is that their identities are hosted somewhere else, whether it's Facebook, Google, uh, Active Directory, or whatever. So with IAM, it supports two types of identity federation. Uh, so we have enterprise identity federation and web identity federation. So the protocols you can use for enterprise identity federation would be SAML, uh, which is compatible with Active Directory, a very popular um, uh, Microsoft Windows uh, identity system, or Custom Federation Brokers. This allows you to connect uh, to other identity systems. And generally with uh, Enterprise Entity Federation, you're doing things with single sign-on. But for the scope of the developer associate, we don't need to really know about that. Uh, what we do need to know about is Web Identity Federation. And you've used this before. If you've ever uh, clicked a button where it's like connect with Facebook or connect with LinkedIn to quickly uh, sign into a service, you are using a Web Identity uh, uh, Federation system. So Amazon has one, Facebook has one, Google has one, um, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. But generally, the protocols that they adhere to is the OpenID Connect OICD. Uh, 2.0, and that's actually built off of OAuth 2. So you might have heard of OAuth. Um, so OIC, OIDC is built on top of OAuth. So, um, but uh, yeah. So now we have an idea of identity federation. Let's dig a little bit deeper uh, here.